Okay, so let's look at paginating our results. If we go ahead and search for something in here and we have quite a few results, we might wanna break them up into separate pages. And that's pretty straightforward. We can just do pretty much what we'd do with a normal article or any kind of model builder and just call the paginate method passing in how many we want to view per page. If we do that and give this a refresh, sure enough, we only see the first five. Now, the way this works, again, is very slightly different to a normal builder. Again, if we open up Searchable here, when we actually call the search method, this is gonna to return to us a builder, which is actually a Laravel Scout Builder. If we open this up, we can see that we have got, search for get, the get method, which uses the engine to get the results, and we have a paginate method, which will actually do exactly the same thing but then it will return to us a paginator instance. So we can just uh, use that to paginate our results. So over in here now, this is working really nicely. We just need to update our search template to go ahead and show the pagination. So down here, all we need to do is say results and links, and we should be good to go. And there we go. We've got a Tailwind styled component that we can use to just go through to each page. And you'll notice that the query is kept automatically. We didn't have to do anything to get this to work. The reason for that is over in Searchable and over in Builder, so let's just reopen that, you can see that this will actually use and append the query string that we're currently using. So normally we would have to do this inside of either links or inside of our search controller, but we haven't had to do that because that's done for us. So now very, very simple to implement pagination with lots of results. Now, just before we go, let's talk a little bit about showing the amount of results that we have. So for example, what I might want to do is just before this, say something like uh, found X results, for example. Let's just wrap this in an M tag for now, just to keep things really simple. And there we go. Now with this, if we were to call results count, it's not quite gonna work. You can see that we've got found five results, but we know there's more than five. This is the five that are currently being displayed. Now, just to kind of dig into this a little bit deeper, if we just die dump on our results. We've already seen that that's gonna to return to us a paginator. In this case, it's a length aware paginator. We know that we have five per page, but we can also access the total. So the actual total that's returned to us has been 16. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's just call the total method instead, which will return to us the value of that total property. And when we give that a refresh, if we actually output the right value, we should see found 16 results. And there we go. We can, of course, still paginate as normal.